It's, it was in another life, I don't remember. Eighty-two, and uh, with uh, with only BMX, and uh, and uh, it's I, I started my, the first mountain bike in eighty-seven or eighty-eight. When I when I saw the first uh, American mountain bikes, and when they said that it was uh, off-road uh, bikes. But I thought that it was not off-road bikes. It was road bikes with uh, with uh, off-road tires. So uh, what I did uh, in these years has been uh, only a big BMX that was uh, from uh, 20 inches wheels to 26 inches wheels with a sloping frame and uh, and uh, it's at this moment that I have asked to my BMX rider to come and to make pictures and to participate at, uh, at, the, at the competition. I remember the first time when I did it, he said, OK, I will do it for 10 years. If in 10 years it works, I can be rich and stop. If I'm not rich, it's better to stop and to, to do something else. But I never stop. <laughs> The first BMX I did was called MX France. But after six, roughly six or a month or one year, I wanted to, uh, to uh, it's, it's, uh, uh, a rep that was selling wheels from Italy came to see me to sell the wheels and also told me, uh, Max, I know an English company that want to buy you 600 bikes. Washka, 600 bikes. Uh, it was, it was, it was, it's huge for me. So I, I went to, uh, to visit the, the guy in, a, in, a, in, a, in England, in London, I remember. I, I had no money. Eh? I was super, uh, not poor, but uh, with no money. So I, I was in a very small room, and uh, I took my bike in the morning to, uh, to, to bring, to, to show to this, uh, to, to, the, to, to this guy. It was a big company. They were selling bikes. And uh, he told me, yes, um, on, your, on your bike. I do not want to have the, the frame painted in white. I would have to, to have the frame uh, in chrome. OK. I can do it. And I would have no plastic wheels, but uh, uh, aluminum wheels with uh, spokes. OK. I would have to have uh, the handlebar, not in the normal position, but a straight one uh, like this. So, yes. He, he wanted to change all what I was doing on the bike. And for finishing, he told me, and if you want to sell me some bikes one day, please don't call it. MX friends. <laughs> so I, I came back to my to my room. My mental was uh, ready down. And then uh, during the night, I redo remake the the bike. And for the name, it was in December in London. It was rainy. It was cold. It was uh, so. I say okay. I will call the bike Sun with two N to have double Sun. And <laughs> from this day, it was less than one year after the beginning, that I called the, the bike Susan. And when I came back, I changed all what I did before. I did the frames in, with the chrome and the wheels with the, with the spokes and uh, aluminum rims, etc. And immediately after that, OK, the business uh, start and, and grow. This guy in England never bought me bikes, <laughs> never. But he has helped me a lot. Common Cell Company today is bigger than was uh, seen before. For the team, uh, it was also easier because uh, all the other brands will not wasn't really interested by the competition. They was not. 
only at the beginning GT. GT with uh, the BMX, we have been super competitors in, uh, in the BMX uh, world. And GT came after to the, to the mountain bike. See, uh, after that, Cannondale, yes. Cannondale with a uh, with, uh, Montgomery family, okay. They, uh, they was uh, super in, uh, involved in the competition. And it was, uh, it was interesting, I liked it. It's true that uh, we, we was doing our forks, our suspension, our hubs, our many things on, on the bikes. So uh, it was for sure a big, big advantage compared to the, uh, to the others. Today, you work with uh, two or three uh, uh, suspension brands. You work with uh, uh, wheels brands. You know, it's different. You only do the frame. Uh, I like the sport. I like the, uh, the competition. I accept to, to lose, but uh, uh, yes, for sure, we do it to win. We do it to win, and, uh, and it's uh, the, the real goal. What, what I prefer is a win uh, to take a rider that has never won anything and to bring him to the, pot, to the top. We did it with a lot of riders. Eh? Uh, we did it also with uh, the Atherton's. Before they came uh, in the team, they didn't want anything. We like uh, with uh, Amori, with uh, uh, Pompon, with uh, uh, Remy. It's so cool to, uh, to, uh, to take a rider that he, he, who is nobody and will become a the World Cup winner. That's very exciting. Champions are uh, not normal people, clearly. They are in another world, okay? Uh, generally, they are super independent. They ask for a lot of, uh, uh, lot of people around them, but they are really alone. And if you say, if not you, but if someone said, to them to do something or they, they will not follow it. They, they will do it by uh, the time. They will have the capacity only to, re, to remain, to, to, to keep 5% uh, of what you will say. And, uh, and uh, I, I think I can recognize some people that can become a champions, but they are all, all of them, they are different. Right. Yes, I think. Yes, because, uh, and, uh, because she, uh, wh when I said that uh, they like, they are super independent, I think she's super independent. Uh, super, and uh, super yes, yeah, super, super independent, because she, uh, if you say the bike will work like this, okay, she don't, doesn't want to, to listen to it. She, she, she has her a, a own opinion on the, on the bike and uh, on the track and uh, yeah. And it was super interesting to have her feedback because her feedback was in 99% the right one. Is it difficult to work with people like that? No, no. No, uh, I think that uh, they, uh, they uh, are asking, they are given, they give to you 100% of uh, themselves. And if they, if they see that you are also giving to them 100% of yourself, it works well. It's a, it's a question of, uh, of, of share. If you can share with them uh, uh, the emotions, the work, the energy, that's work. For sure, I, I remember at the, the sun uh, time, I was saying to my, to my people, we are writing the story. I said that several times. We, what we are doing uh, will really belong to the history of the mountain bike. 
because we uh, believe in, in this sport, this sport is uh, unbelievable. When the uh, emotion you can have when the best rider are, are coming, and uh, we were one of the, the people, the brands, uh, the actors of, uh, of uh, this construction. So that clearly uh, was uh, super emotional. But uh, ju just, uh, just when, when uh, we saw on, the, on this summer, two months ago, the World Cup in Andorra and the, and the, the top riders coming, it was, it was fantastic for, for the, uh, the emotion and the, and, and the sport. When uh, I wasn't in, uh, in Mont Saint Anne, but when we saw the uh, Aaron Green run under the rain and winning, it was, uh, it was fan fantastic. So we, we uh, yeah, it's, uh, we are just, we are pioneer that exists maybe since uh, more than 20 years, but we are only still at the beginning. But time for sure has been uh, when after 16 years uh, at Sun, uh, where I wasn't uh, anymore the main shareholder, uh, because I asked to other people to enter the company, I, I have been, uh, I don't know how to say, drop out. Uh, eh? Kick down, yeah. So uh, I, did, I, I, th I, I thought uh, they, are, they are crazy. They are crazy to, to do that. They don't know how does it work. Because the people that have replaced me never came to the company, never. So, and, uh, and after to, to, to restart has been, a, has been a second adventure, second life, okay? Many people today have several life, eh? okay? So that has been a second one. And today, I think it's uh, probably the best thing that could uh, happen to me. It's a great, great sport. It's a great sport, and uh, the TV, uh, it's a sport that can be, uh, that is great, great, great at the TV. I see more and more people uh, interest, and uh, yeah, I'm very confident. What, I hope that more sponsors will come, you know? Because uh, riders, that's cool for the riders to, uh, to take risks, but also to, uh, to make money and to have a nice life after. The, the, the most, for me, uh, difficult and, uh, and uh, terrible things that uh, happened for me, it was when, uh, 10 years after his uh, world title in, uh, in cross country, uh, Christophe Dupuy, suicide. Okay, it's someone that has been at the, at the, at the top of the top, Probably with, uh, I don't know, it was before all these uh, uh, years of doping, uh, extra. I never knew exactly what's happened, but he has been at the top. And after, we, I didn't really took care of, uh, of him, you know? He has been a champion, and uh, I was, the life was uh, going red, and uh, I was with uh, new riders, new team, new things, I, and uh, I didn't took care of him. And uh, step by step, he, he decreased, he became with uh, 20 kilo more, and he finished by uh, suicide. And, uh, and, uh, for me, it's super sad to think uh, that we have not to take care of the riders uh, only when they are at the top, but we also have to take care of them after. And uh, I didn't do it for him. Eh? And uh, so, so it's, uh, it's, it's something th that... Uh, is very uncomfortable for me. And that w w will uh, happen. That's why if we can have a long story before, during, and after with the writers, that's cool.